welcome to an all new episode of Conflicts. Today I'm super excited to show you the all new JXD S192K. Now this here is the next generation of gaming in which it actually consists of every single emulator you can think of. Now this was sent over by GearBest.com so for your very own check out their link down below in the description. Now this particular game console is actually an emulator system in which you can download just about any game you want and play it on a portable game device. So I'm really excited to go ahead and show it to you, but before we do, let's go ahead and take a closer look at the packaging before we open it up. Alright, so this here is our packaging in which you do see the console on the top here. Uh, it says jst has got 4 GB of RAM, and then on the bottom here it kind of talks about it in terms of specs. So it does have a quad core as well as a 7-inch screen, and then it has 4 gigabytes of RAM as well as a 5 megapixel camera. It's got over a 10,000 mAh battery. It can also do 3D gaming as well as button mapping, and also consists of Android. So you can go ahead and program it with just about anything. And then on the back here, it gives you a little bit more in terms of specs. Uh, so as we said, the screen is a 7-inch screen, but it does have a resolution of 920 by 1200. Uh, then in terms of sound effects, it does have a stereo dual speaker, so it does have built-in speakers as well as a microphone, and a Bluetooth uh, connecting device so you can go ahead and use a headset as well. Now in terms of the processor, it has a ARM Cortex A17 quad core, and then in terms of game features, you can download Android games, online games. So on the bottom here, it shows it from the front to the back and how it looks. So let's go ahead and slide this open and see what this is all about. Alright. And then, nice, uh, on the top here we have ourselves an instruction manual, or a quick start guide, kind of explain to you how to set it up. Uh, it's actually quite straightforward, just go ahead and boot it up and just download games and start playing them. So let's go ahead and take this thing out. Now, in terms of weight goes, uh, it's actually quite light, surprisingly. Uh, probably feels no more than like a PSP, probably maybe even lighter. Now it does have, it is quite large, so do keep that in mind, it may look small on the screen. But it is quite large, it is a 7 inch screen, so just keep that in mind. Uh, let's go ahead and peel this off here. There we go. And uh, you do see that it does have a camera up here, as well as a microphone down here. Uh, the speakers are here on the side as well, and then you have two joysticks as well as the analog control. And then you have your X, Y, A, B over here. Now the back here talks about the system itself in terms of what we already functioned as. Uh, and then it says singularity, and it's got the triggers on the top. So definitely a nice looking appearance and a very well professional, almost looks like a real game console, so definitely very nice and very unique but nonetheless. I'm just going to put that down for now. Uh, in addition to what we see here, we do get a charger. Uh, other than that, it's a pretty straightforward shot and nothing else in there. So let's go ahead and boot this up and see what this is all about. Alright, so let's go ahead and turn it on. The power button's right here on the top as well as the volume control. Just go ahead and do that and then we can just go ahead and slide it right up. And then this here is our main console menu. So you have a few different things, you have YouTube, you have a gallery, uh, it allows you to do an ES File Explorer which you can go ahead and see all the different files, you can play music as well, and then you can download different things uh, using the Play Store as well. Now what we're going to look at is called Happy Chick. Uh, this here is a console system which allows you to download different emulators. So we have Arcade, we have uh, Dreamcast, we have N64, we have Arcade, we have PS, uh, Game Boy Advance, Android, PC, Sega Genesis, and so on and so forth. Now, the way it works is quite simple. Uh, for instance, if we wanted to download a PlayStation game, just go ahead and click on PS. And this will actually load up all the different games that you can download. Now, you can go ahead and search, you can click on New, you can click on Hot. And literally, for instance, if we wanted Tekken 3, click on Tekken 3 right there. It will actually give you different images on how the game looks like. So, if you want to download it, you just click on Download right over here. And uh, yeah, we can just go ahead and play it. Now, let's go ahead and click back here for a second, and then we're going to click on play, and then these are the few different games that I downloaded, so I downloaded Crash Bandicoot 3, Super Mario World, Gran Turismo, uh, Mario Kart, as well as Driver 2. Now, the nice thing about this is you can always download save games, so you don't have to start from the beginning, so first if I click on Crash Bandicoot here, uh, you can click on saves, and you can click recommended saves, and you can download different save games that other people put on, and then just hit play. And then you can go ahead and load it up from there. So let's go put the volume up. Man, this game brings back a lot of memories. 
So let's go ahead and just jump right into it. And it loads quite quick because it is an emulator, you know, you're not using any kind of CDs. So keep that in mind. Uh, <laughs> Definitely a lot of fun and very responsive. It runs really smooth. You can see that on any angle, it is really bright. So you don't really have to play straight, like straight on. So it's actually a lot of fun. Oh man. Now I gotta get to the castle. Look at that goat. <laughs> I'm gonna jump over this. And we won! So one minute and nine seconds, not bad. So you just go put your name in and save it. But um, yeah, so for instance, if we just click on quit, and that'll just end the emulator just like that. So if you wanted to play Super Mario Brothers, you can click on that and then just hit play. Uh, and then again, click on saves, recommended saves, uh, and I can download someone else's save just like that. Okay, and then play. Alright, so, you know, you can use the, you can use the joystick, you can use the arrows. Definitely a lot of fun though. There you go. Got the one up. Just doing a little speed run for you guys. And yep, there you go. Just beat the level. <laughs> so, kind of gives you an idea, you know, that's Super Nintendo right there. Uh, and then, you know, you can play different games such as Driver, Gran Turismo, and just download just about anything from any console you want. Uh, so definitely a very unique aspect. So you do get a good amount of room here in which has 64 gigabytes. So you can download a lot of games and then it also has um, an expansion port on the bottom. It has an aux cable on the bottom as well and a charger port as well. Uh, definitely a very unique concept in terms of gaming goes. Uh, and then again, you know, you get full control over the console itself so you can download different things. Uh, you can play different games and just go on and go on and so forth. Alright, well there you have it. This game console is something else. Not only does it allow you to play different games, but it allows you to download just about anything. Now, if you guys have any questions about this particular game console, feel free to comment down below. Otherwise, thank you again for watching and we'll see you guys next time. Take care now. Bye-bye.